In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble a HP HP Pavilion Stream laptop. And of course, this would work with HP Stream 11 or 13 or any streams for that matter. You cannot upgrade the RAM, and the majority of these are 2 gigs, which is pretty low. You can replace or upgrade the hard drive, the SSD hard drive. Um, it's a little bit more difficult and complex uh, for the stream as compared to other laptops. However, I will go into detail about that at the end of this video. There are several reasons why you would want to disassemble the, the stream. One would be that, you, of course, you need to change the hard drive out. It's either gone bad or you need to upgrade it to a larger hard drive. Um, you might need to change out the battery if the battery has gone dead on you. Um, you the speakers may have gone bad or crackling. Uh, so this will show you how to get to the speakers. And if you want to sell the stream for parts, you can do that as well. We'll go ahead and remove the back. There's a total of seven screws, it looks like. Just need like a Phillips, Phillips head screwdriver. Is it? These don't retail for that much used. I think I see them online for anywhere from fully working to like 80 to 100 bucks. Um, the processor in there is not that powerful. You have to also remove uh, what I would call legs or end caps. So you got a total of four legs, and then you also have two little end caps here, the little rubber things. To get those off, um, I have like a little, little small Phillips, or I'm sorry, flathead. Uh, you could actually use a steak knife. I'll show you what I'll do here. So as you can see in there, there's another screws. Okay, next you're going to um, open it back up for the lid, and you're going to use your little snake uh, steak knife again, or um, a uh, little flathead, or you also a little credit card would help as well to go around these edges. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to gradually work your way off the edges, and there's one little ribbon that's connecting the the palm rest to the uh, to the bottom. So. You want to make sure with your steak knife or your little flathead that you don't do damage to the plastic as you're going around just for cosmetic reasons. So once you get some separation on the palm rest, what you're going to want to do is put it on its side and then you're going to use both hands and you're going to try to pull it apart um, at the same time. As long as you've got all those screws out, you're not going to break anything. Just um, you know, aggressively try to pull it apart. Okay, so you can see I've almost got it taken apart. What you do is then you put it on its lid and then that'll gradually pop out so we got it so like I said it just takes muscle and a little bit of patience but it eventually comes out what you want to do next is um, as you can see here we want to want to undo these ribbons
that just for the uh, keyboard just pops up and it just pops right out there there's another one right here which is the mouse trackpad and uh, take your little and then that pops out and then another one here So there's a total of three in all that's holding it in there. Okay. So that's your palm rest. Alright, so battery would be pretty easy to uh, replace. You got a total of one, two, three, four about four Phillips head screws and, and of course there's the speakers those are easy to replace I'm sorry there's your Wi-Fi card right there and USB ports these only have a Celeron processor this particular one is a 2.1 gigahertz and I've always sort of turned my nose up to Celeron processors, but you know I've heard where people have been able to play some pretty good games on these streams, even uh, World of Warcraft when they use an external hard drive. So I'm going to leave a link right here for my second video to show you how to replace or upgrade the hard drive. These streams usually only have like a 32 gigabyte SSD, and you may want to upgrade to a you know, a 128 or a 256 or even higher, it's a possibility. You do have to weigh the options of how much it would cost you to get a, a, a bigger hard drive compared to, you know, how much you only paid for this laptop itself.